the next video lecture is pertaining to the automation in production systems principles automation is the technology by which a process or procedure is accomplished without human assistance it is implemented using a program of instructions combined with a control systems that executes the instructions to automate a, a process power is required both to drive the process itself and to operate the program and control systems although automation can be applied in a wide varieties of areas it is most associated with the manufacturing industries it was in the context of manufacturing that the term was originally coined by an engineering manager at ford motor company in the year 1946 to describe the varieties of automatic transfer devices and feedback mechanisms that had been installed in ford's production plant it is ironically ironic that nearly all modern applications of automation are controlled by computer technologies that were not available in 1946 now the strategy strategies of automation the first strategy is specialization of operations it involves the purpose equipment or for the the you special equipment is designed this is analogous to the concept of labor specialization which is employed to improve labor productivity combined operations the second strategy is combined operations production occurs as a sequence of operations complex parts may require dozens or even hundreds of processing steps the strategy of combined operations involves reducing the number of distinct production machines or workstations through which the part must be routed this is accomplished by the perform by performing more than one operation at a given machine thereby reducing the number of separate machines needed since each machine typically involves a setup setup time can usually be saved as a consequence of this strategy material handling efforts and non operation time are also reduced manufacturing lead time is reduced for better consumer service the third up strategy of automation is simultaneous operations a logical extension of the combined operation strategy is to simultaneously perform the operations that are combined at one workstation in effect two or more processing operations are being performed simultaneously on the work part thus reducing total processing time the fourth strategy is integration of operations another strategy is to link several workstations together into a single integrated mechanisms using automated work handling devices to transfer parts between stations in effect this reduces the number of separate machines through which the product must be scheduled with more than one workstation several parts can be processed simultaneously thereby increasing the overall output of the system next one that is increased flexibility this strategy attempts to achieve a maximum utilization of equipment for job shop and medium volume situations by using same equipment for a variety of parts or products it to involves the use of the flexible automation concepts prime objectives are to reduce setup time and programming time for the production machines this normally translates into lower manufacturing lead time and less work in process the sixth one that is improved material handling storage material handling and storage a great opportunity for reducing non productive time exists in the use of automated materials handling and storage systems 
typically benefit it benefits include reduced work in process and shorter manufacturing lead times the next strategy is online inspection inspection for the quality of work is traditionally performed after the process is completed this means that any poor quality product has already been produced by the time it is inspected incorporating inspection into manufacturing process permits corrections to the process as the product is being made this reduces scrap and brings the overall quality of product closer to the nominal specifications intended by the designers the next strategy is process control optimization this includes a wide range of control schemes intended to operate individual processes and associated with equipment more efficiently by this strategy the individual process times can be reduced and product quality improved the ninth strategy is plant operations control whereas the previous strategy was concerned with the control of the individual manufacturing process this strategy that is plant operations control is concerned with the control of the at the plant level it attempts to manage and coordinate the aggregate operations in the plant more efficiently it is implemented usually involves its implementation usually involves a high level of computer networking within the factory the last one that is computer integrated manufacturing taking the previous strategy one level higher we have in the integration of factory operations with the with engineering design and the business functions of the firm computer integrated manufacturing involves extensive use of computer applications computer databases and computer networking throughout the enterprise now the basic elements of an automated systems an automated systems consists of the three basic elements first one that is power to accomplish the process and operate the system the second one a power a program of instructions to direct the process and the third and the main important one is the control systems to actuate the instructions all the systems that qualify as being automated include these three basic elements in one form or another the first one that is power to accomplish the automated process an automated system is used to operate some processes and power is required to drive all the processes as well as the controls the principal source of power in automated systems is electricity electric power has many advantages in automated as well as non automated processes electrical power is used is widely available in moderate cost it is an important part of our industrial infrastructure electrical power can be readily converted to alternative energy forms that is mechanical thermal light acoustic hydraulic and pneumatic electrical power at low levels can be used to accomplish functions such as signal transmission information processing data storage and communication electrical energy can be stored in long life batteries for use in locations where an external source of electrical power is not conveniently available the second one that is program of instructions the actions performed by automated process are defined by a program of instructions whether manufacturing operations involve the low medium high production each part or product life lifestyle is made in the operations required one or more processing steps that are unique to that style these processing steps are performed during the workforce during the work cycle the a new
and the new part is completed during each work cycle for example a plastic injection molding operation okay work cycle programs are called part programs in numerical control other processes control other process control applications use different names for this operation the third one is control systems a variety of production process of production situations and work cycle programs has been discussed here the features of work cycle programs used to direct the operations of an automated systems the control element of the automated systems executes the program of instructions the control systems cause the process to accomplish its defined function which for our purpose is to be is to carry out some manufacturing operations the control is an automated system that can be either closed or loop or closed one code loop a code loop control system is also known as feedback control system is the, the one in which the output variable is compared with the input parameter and any difference between the two is used to drive the output into the agreement with the input now the, there are basic six, basically six elements first one the input parameter second one the process third one variable output and the fourth one feedback sensors fifth one controllers sixth one actuators the input parameter often referred to as set as the set point represents the desired value of the output in some temperature control systems the set point is the desired thermostat setting the process the process is the operation or function being controlled in particular it is the output variable that is being controlled in the loop the process of interest is usually a manufacturing operation and output variable is some process variable perhaps a critical performance measure in the process such as temperature or force or flow rate a sensor is used to measure the output variable and close the loop between the input and output sensor performs the feedback functions in a closed loop control system the controllers compares the output with the input makes the required adjustment in the process to reduce the difference between them thank you